Of course, with the mRNA, there's a very, very, very low risk, particularly in young men, of getting a myocarditis. Mm. I love that guy. And you got your favorite guy on the screen. Come on now. Dr. Scientist is here. Oh, goody. Yeah. <laughs> I love this character. Is. We can't do without that guy. <laughs> he's like, he is the voice of conscience for the society. And his words were gospel. Still is to a great degree. We live in such a great country. In some other parts of the world, men like this might be behind bars. But in the United States, we are very gracious about how we deal with criminals and, and people who are supposed to be locked up we have very we have a very sensitive christian hearts and, <laughs> and i'm being sarcastic here but yeah let's just leave it that way <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just a little wild to me that some of these people are still walking around you know yeah, free yeah <laughs> it makes no sense well anyway let's get to the video of course with the mrna there's a very 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 low risk particularly in young men whoa of course, with the mRNA, there's a very, very, very low risk, particularly in young men, of getting a myocarditis. Mm. I love that guy. Good evening and welcome to We Lie to You News. Tonight we'll feed you trustworthy lies that you'll only need to betray your own consciousness to believe. Plus, now there's proof that there is no God. We'll get into that in just a moment, but first, America is definitely not falling apart. In fact, it's better than ever. You're allowed to shoplift as long as you're stealing less than $900 worth of stuff. In fact, the store owners and managers will get in trouble if they try to stop you, as it's now a crime to stop someone from committing a crime against you. All right. So how do we explain this logic? Uh, first of all, the mRNA kind of guy comment, we're just going to leave that matter alone. Um, mm -hmm. Again, what's up with this $900 kind of like you allowed to steal before you get in trouble? Like, De Democrat <laughs> logic. Okay. The, 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 their, their idea behind it is it's reparations. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Actually, I did a, I did do a video. Uh, actually, I posted a video of this girl on my TikTok, uh, of all places, of course, um, where she was arguing in favor of. I'm I'm sure you have probably seen it. Um, no, because that um, name sends shivers down my spine. I hate TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> she was arguing in favor of stealing in the name of social justice and reparation, mm -hmm. Black Lives Matter kind of thing. Um, but. Um, Part of my issue was how does a flat screen TV fit into that description? But who knows? Um, just don't go on YouTube. Yeah, because you know your ancestors weren't allowed to be able to buy flat screen TVs. You know, you need that now yeah. to survive. It's yeah, reparations. what does that have to do with your survival? I, I still don't understand a lot. Of you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> what does that have to do with? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. your ancestors were slaves, so therefore put a fl flat screen TV on top of your head. That, that, that's reparation. Like, really? Like, oh, let's, let's get for real about this. Yeah, here, here she is. Let's see if we can digest some of this stuff. She's... And, and and fancy sneakers, too. Don't forget about the fancy sneakers. Of course. I mean, <laughs> even though we live in poor communities, but we wear were, we were the most expensive stuff. We know how we roll. <laughs> anyway. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. This guy. If somebody decides to loot a Gucci or a Macy's or a Nike, because that makes sure that that person eats, that makes sure that that person has clothes. That's reparations. That is reparations. Anything they want to take, take it because these businesses have insurance. They're going to get their money back. My people aren't getting anything. That's the problem right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that logic is so twisted, boy. But, I tell you. you know, it's like, okay, they may have insurance, but then their insurance premium goes up. Therefore, the cost of their goods goes up. And you end up, and people in a neighborhood end up paying for that. You know? Yeah. So you're only just hurting your own neighborhood. Absolutely. She doesn't seem to understand how economics works. works. Yeah. Economics. <laughs> yeah. There's not, uh, you know, it's a total disconnect, but. Again, you think these businesses will lose out for you? No, you, they they will get it back from the taxpayers some way somehow. That's mm -hmm. what's gonna happen. Good morning, Mad Catter. Hey, what's up, Mad Catter? It's good to have you here. Anyway, let's get back to JP. 
as it's now a crime to stop someone from committing a crime against you. Welcome to America. There are a lot of people coming in. And that's the type of America that makes good, kind-hearted, military-aged males want to come to this country through our intentionally wide-open borders. On to some military news. After facing a frightening recruiting shortage, the U.S. military is looking stronger than ever with their new recruitment strategy. Wonder why that'll work so well. The Biden administration mm. is anticipating strong enrollment numbers to boost its military defense to be used against U.S. citizens. And in similar news, eight House Republicans joined Democrats in voting against bringing articles of impeachment against the Department of Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas. <laughs> Come on. Are these Republicans for, for real? Like, the feckless... Why would they do that? I, I, I guess it goes back to the unit party, right? Because mm -hmm. they are all part of the same team. Yeah. It, this is the reason why they can't stand down on Trump, because he won't put up with this. Mm -mm. Nope. He will not. And he's yeah. allowed to root it all out when yeah. he gets elected again. Yeah, on the surface, it looks like Republicans and Democrats are completely at odds with one another. But in reality, they are not making backroom deals and stuff yeah what's at odds with both party is the MAGA based so the populist movement that donald trump has started is what they are that's what's at odds with the movement so i'm sure there are also a few republicans that are just standing against it but as an entire party i'm beginning to realize these guys are on the same page it seems like they argue in front of the camera but behind the scene, they're playing golf together. You know, what I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, you guys are just friends. You know, <laughs> like, all right, I'm get, I'm guessing we are the ones you are entertaining here. We are, and, we are and the it's, ones being played. <laughs> and it's not like Republicans don't realize that you know we don't have a bunch of rhinos in our house. We, yeah. we definitely realize we need to do some house cleaning. Yeah, yeah. And I think changing Speaker of the House was a good indication of that. Yeah, Matt Cater, we we've just started, so you don't have to do much catch up anyway. So we just started. Yeah, that's crazy, man. <laughs> Here we are. In an effort to make sure Americans are not protected against him, we'll get back to how your federal government stands for nothing and uses you to serve their agenda in just a second. But first, a businessman who seems to carry a very American mentality and has what are called testicles. He's a businessman who looked at the tyrants and stuck a middle finger in their face as he refused to shut down his business. And that businessman is Dana White. And speaking of business and sponsors going woke, Dana White had this to say recently. I posted a video for Trump, right, mm -hmm. on my personal social media. And one of our big sponsors called and said, take that down. You know what I said? Go f yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, all right, I can say I'm not a fan of the language, but I love the attitude. Right. That is needed today because, first of all, these businesses, they supposed the EI driven, ESD driven businesses who feels like they are the moral arbiter of society. It is their job to help society to be better. Right. When you're supposed to be a business about making money and serving the public. Did you did you hear about the law? in uh, I think it was either Iowa or Ohio that just passed. Uh, -huh. go ahead. They're banning DEI from their state. Good. I think it should be banned internationally, but I don't think that's going to happen because that's coming from. Hey, it's a first step. Hot dogs. Right. But I think if states, each particular state begins to push back against it it can really bring about a serious difference but it's going to take some serious backbones though so ohio seems to be the first to be doing that that's that's I, I, I don't know like i said i can't remember whether it was ohio or iowa but one of those mm -hmm. is they they made a law that says that di dei is done in their state there it, it can't be used can't be taught good it was never a good idea in the first place so yeah. i'm not really realizing that so yeah it's it's a poison pill yes it is it is it, it discriminates against minorities it discriminates not just minorities discriminate against people as a whole yeah, yeah it's not just minority because 
they can put me as a minority, you know, as a black man. But the moment I think like a Christian, I think like a Republican, DEI doesn't work for me. <laughs> it's just, it goes against me, right? And I, if I don't support trans movement, if I cannot associate slavery with LGBT, I become some kind of, you know, bigot, right? So I, I, it doesn't work you, for me. <laughs> you become one of those evil MAGA terrorists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a black fist of white supremacists, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, there we go. Good morning, Laura. Mm. Nothing to learn from that unless you want to be a strong person running a successful business. Yet if you're tired of hearing about Dana White, let's switch gears to a man who doesn't have testicles. Gavin Newsom. Gavman is catching a little bit of flack for rather quickly and easily cleaning up the streets of Gotham City, located in San Francisco. <laughs> Yo, um, oh. that man, that man is, is, he needs, uh, somebody needs to check him. Hello, Navarro. Let me, oh, he's something else. But let me read, let me share with you another video that I have. Hello. Um, there we go. This, I just put that one out. He admitted, I mean, folks, more. it's like, if we don't see it, it's because we don't want to see it. There it is. They all, they're just cleaning up this place because all those fancy leaders are coming into town. Um, that's true because it's true but it's also true for months and months and months prior to apec we've been having different conversations people say we only stopped the druggies from killing themselves and the criminals from killing other people because xi jinping is coming to town and that's true and in case san francisco residents did not get the point that impressing foreigners is much more important than their own lives according to these politicians Gavin Newsom made it even clearer. Anytime you put on an event, by definition, you know, you, you have people over your house, you're going to clean up the house. The 21 world leaders, you've got tens of thousands of people coming from all uh, around the globe. Uh, what an opportunity to showcase the world's most extraordinary place, San Francisco. Yeah. All you San Francisco residents can live with the crackheads and the gangsters. But chair folks say, oh, they're just cleaning up this place because all those fancy leaders are coming into town. Um, that's true because it's and this dude is so transparent and the sad part is you know he's going to be making a run for president and and i it, lord help us if he ever ends up in office as president because if he ends up as president we're all doomed yeah, that guy is, is like the face of socialism. And I don't like to use these terms loosely because I think the left plays with these terms too much, but he seems to fit that. The fact you're willing to clean up in order to supposedly, you know, impress a socialist kind of dictator, if you were to say that. But, and you let your people, like you let California pretty much in a bad condition, but you were willing to do this instantly in order to, to 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 appease somebody at the top, it goes to show that you could have cleaned up this whole time then. You could have mm -hmm. uh, put the This could have been done at any time. Yeah, th these guys could have cleaned up any moment now. They just chose not to do it. Like, mm -hmm. this is completely, this is a decision that they're making. I, I, I'm not sure what political reasons is behind this, but they must have a reason, I guess. But it, 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 I mean, it's just pathetic. The fact you went on, on, on record on record to admit it. it it shows how much humanity little humanity is left in him That's and crazy there i don't know if you heard about this case but there was a gentleman in california who was going up to his door after coming home from the gym mm -hmm. and ended up getting attacked by two thugs one of them pulled a gun on him he threw his hot T in his face and then drew a gun on him and they started having a firefight outside of his house oh yeah 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 yeah. i heard it they pulled his license for carry permit <laughs> do you know why they pulled his license what was that in california yeah i know it's hard to carry go ahead why because he yelled at the uh, police he yelled at the sheriff's department that was the excuse they gave like really because he, he yelled at them i mean the guy just went through something extremely traumatic 
That is and crazy. now when he needs it more than ever because they may come back for retribution and you're Absolutely. not doing anything about it you're gonna disarm him yeah yeah it's like these guys really they don't care about the average the average person um the average american they really i guess they really hate uh, the common the common person uh, that that's all i can come up with because it you cannot be this twisted in your thinking mm -hmm. yeah colin noir did a good cover of it okay okay i might be able to add that to the list <laughs> all right let's get back to it it's crazy to me in order to impress communist leader Xi Jinping with his California communism, do some smooth of cleaning up the embarrassingly messy house before dictator daddy comes over has some people asking, why hasn't he bothered cleaning up the streets of his degenerate state before? The answer is because he wants to impress communist leaders and keeping his state a disaster helps impress communism upon its citizens. While Xi Jinping was in the U.S. pretending he's not a brutal communist dictator that currently has over a million Uyghurs locked up in a concentration camp, D.C. Drano points out that Xi was spotted out walking his dog. And Xi's dog had this to say about the aspiring California communist leader. I want to talk about Governor Newsom. I want to thank him. He's been one hell of a governor, man. He's, he's out of his mind. He says Xi's dog. Oh man, I was expecting an actual I don't know what I was expecting to be honest with you. Oh, uh, he was not this guy. <laughs> uh, of course he's gonna post up Newsom. He's trying to set him up to be, you know, the next president. Like I said, Gavin mm -hmm. Newsom's trying to make a presidential run. Yeah, he he is. We see every indication. He is making he's speaking very much on behalf of Biden in a positive way he's he's going around you know he's getting into a debate is that debate already happened with him and Ron DeSantis mm -hmm. okay how did that go <laughs> uh Ron DeSantis I, I, crushed him <laughs> really I I, I didn't do a video about that because I I didn't hear much about it so all right interesting yeah you're not going to because mainstream media doesn't want to cover it because it was really embarrassing for Gavin Newsom <laughs> Because he oh, couldn't man. back up any of the policies that he's been impl implementing. Oh, my Lord. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Biden is one of those characters who just does what he is told, you know. Poor guy. Needs to retire, though. Good morning, Ms. Mama. I want to talk about Governor Newsom. I want to thank him. He's been one hell of a governor, man. <laughs> Matter of fact, he could do anything you want. He could have the job I'm looking for. We know, Joe, that's the plan. And I don't think you were supposed to say anything about it quite yet, though. And in news of someone with testicles that pretends he doesn't have them, a freshman boy on the girls' cross-country team somehow annihilates the competition as he takes home first place in the conference championships. He gloriously frolicked his lady balls across the finish line to quite easily finish first, making sure that the fastest female in the race had the opportunity to not have the opportunity to be the conference champion. I love women's rights. And that's the kind of thing that Xi Jinping's Marxist TikTok app encourages American youngsters to do. Yet it's illegal for them to do that kind of encouraging in China. I wonder why. And in celebrity news, the world's highest rated horse deworming podcast finally had on a long awaited and anticipated guest, The Rock. And if you study the video footage closely, oh you'll see that The Rock was not sporting a booster band-aid. Interesting change of pace for him. Perhaps The Rock is setting his sights on joining the military, so he's taking advantage of their new recruitment strategies. <laughs> oh wait, did his check clear from Pfizer? Oh, it did? <laughs> well. <laughs> oh man, it's crazy how the tie is changing though. Oh man! You know, I think we need to harbor. Uh, I, I'm gonna say this. Listen, a level of animosity for some of these people. Here is the reason why. Unless we do that, we will never learn from history. I think what happened during Pestilence 19 and all the regulations. I think we are too quick to forgive them. 
mm-hmm. and let them get away with what they've done. Yeah. This was not okay. Like this hurt a lot of businesses, a lot of and families, a lot of people, a lot of people. Some folks in my nursing homes had their loved ones dying inside of the place and they had to look from a window. There's a lot of people who, who were hurt as a result of the inoculation, uh, the injection. And un- until today, nothing has been said. There, there's no advocacy. There is no recompense. Nobody's gotten, I don't know how much I've gotten paid, how many, uh, it, it's not okay. Like if we were to just let that matter go and just move on without addressing the way some of these regulation and mandates went about mm-hmm. and were implemented, we need to be talking about this more. We shouldn't just sugarcoat the matter and say, well, it won't happen again. This was a one time issue. I think we being prepped and prime for the next thing if we just allow this to go on, because these folks were evil. The way they managed this thing and what they did and how much they trampled on people's right. Completely going against your country, shutting down YouTube channels that were saying things that were true. And all of a sudden now everything is good. Mm-hmm. And we're just going to let all that. Uh, I'm not okay with that. I think no. there needs to we need to harbor a level of vengeance and unforgiveness in our hearts toward that mentality and these group of folks who set all this stuff up. I'm level okay of righteous indignation. We need some righteous indignation. That's a good way to say it. Yeah, it's not right. We had so many funerals. Actually, my fa- my father in law he passed away as a result of that. Mm-hmm. And we. I'm still ha- I'm still having my mother around and I'm still comforting my mother. I'm like, that's not okay. Like, we're just going to let, let, let that go. Like, really? All right. Just saying. Wanted to say something. For sure. He probably doesn't need to join the military then. He should be all set. And I hope he's fully aware of what he's done to millions of young men through his influence. Of course, with the mRNA, there's a very, very, very low risk particularly in young men, of getting a myocarditis. That's right. And that's putting it lightly, Tony. Before covering our final story of a lovely pink-haired lady trying to destroy America, as our borders are wide open and the American way of life has never been under a bigger threat, here's a clip of someone who passionately loves America and is therefore unquestionably a threat to our democracy. You hate America if you want to abolish Israel. If you sympathize with jihadists, then we don't want you in our country and you're not going to be getting into our country. I will cancel the student visas. Hamas sympathizers on college campuses. The college campuses are being taken over. And all of the resident aliens who joined in the pro-jihadist protest this month, nobody's ever seen anything like it. Come 2025. We will find you and we will deport you. You see, this is how a true leader speaks, though. Mm-hmm. Like, this is like tough language for some people. If you have no backbones, you might think what he's saying here is not nice. You can't be nice to evil. You can't no. be nice to evildoers. It just doesn't it, work. It's like the old saying, you sleep with dogs, you're going to get fleas. <laughs> <laughs> exactly you know and i wish biden will speak like that well i forget about that <laughs> you just I, wish I, biden I, would I, speak i'll take my, take my wish back <laughs> yeah i, I mean, just wish he could put together a coherent sentence yeah, period. <laughs> period, yeah. you know the thing is the uh, people from the west you know in our narcissistic compassion supposed uh trying to appeal to to certain groups of people what we don't realize they use people, that against us they use it against us they weaponize our sympathy right they, they they don't we don't realize that some of these people don't work that way they they respond to aggression they respond to respect and um, violence and yeah they they yes there there needs to be a sense of fear but when they, whenever they see kindness and gentleness and meekness they actually weaponize take it, it for weakness they take it for weakness and weaponize it to control people and i think if we if we would understand that worldview um it would change a whole lot but we don't we think these guys are just like us right they think the way we do they see things the same way we see things they it's don't like, 
that's not the case, buddy. <laughs> like, yeah, they, not, they, they definitely not, don't. That's why they're screaming death to America and we like uh, free free Palestine. No, they're saying death to America in the country in which you live. <laughs> like mm -hmm. you, you don't understand what they're telling you. Like, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, Babylon B did a wonderful job parody of uh -huh. interviewing uh, Hamas. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't my list to do. So that's <laughs> oh yeah. We we should definitely add that to the list. Anyway, let's let's finish JP. <laughs> mm. We still pretend that he colluded with Russia to steal the 2016 election, don't we? Well, they weren't supposed to find out that that's not true. In other news, Megan Rapinoe was set to play her final game in professional women's soccer. This Justin! Apparently there's such a thing as professional women's soccer. <laughs> the non-binary queen of... Oh, uh, we got a we got a whole nother segment set apart for her because she deserves some attention. She surely does, and I don't plan on excoriating her. But uh, does she? Yeah, what does we, she really? <laughs> <laughs> well, she does deserve a spot. We're talking about narcissism at its finest here. Oh my lord! Whew. Oh, home girl needs to stop. Of woke went down with a torn Achilles tendon. Rapino ended her career having to withdraw from the game, leaving her team needing to find someone else who can miss game winning kicks by as much as her. As many Americans should enjoy for her injury, here's what the Black and White Sports YouTube channel had to say about their grief over her injury. This woman is getting her just desserts now. She hates this country. She's a communist. She disrespect the national anthem. She's pushing radical gender ideology in the sports. This woman is just flat out evil. Well, I, I don't know about that. That's not true. That just seems kind of this Justin. All of that is fact checked as true. Oh, fair enough. What's following the injury? Megan said something to reporters that is making quite a few headlines. I thought about it a little bit. I mean, you know, I'm not a religious person or anything. We could tell, Megan. And if there was a God, like, this is proof that there is a... This is up. The godless Marxist said that her injury is proof that there is no God. Great perspective, and I'm sure very accurate, Megan. Yet we made a poll, and the results of which show 100% of all patriots... <laughs> Go ahead. I know you got something to say. Go ahead. <laughs> always, always got to blame somebody or something else for your problems. Yeah, this is can't the... take personal responsibility for your own actions and yeah. your own judgments. Yeah, woman, you are reaping what you sow. Yeah, this is the cult of victimology. <laughs> you always got to find somebody else to blame for the conditions of your own life. Like, okay, whatever. So I think we're gonna. Like I've said, I'm gonna save my my comment for her in another segment in our live stream today so <laughs> sorry i i it was no you, you you're right you you like... allow you allowed to say whatever you're saying i'm speaking myself here <laughs> oh my lord this one this this thing gets under my skin <laughs> yeah, of course it does of course it does <sighs> lord have mercy we ran a poll, and the results of which show 100% of all patriots believe Rapino having her Achilles tendon torn is proof that there is a god. And she should be happy about this injury, as it'll now make it much easier for her to kneel during the national anthem. <laughs> That's it for today's news. Check the beat out of <laughs> Uh, he is uh, out of control, my lord, uh, JP. You too much. I love JP. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man, it is what it is. I, I mean, it's just that I don't feel bad. Is it? Is am I wrong for not feeling bad? <laughs> That's kind of how I feel. <laughs> No, because yeah, I mean, had a surgery. She's reaping like, what she sows. I yeah, mean. it's like nobody cares. Like, we're gonna move on. Life goes on. 